Good evening, everybody. Ugh. God, let a fly in. No, get out, 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 outside. Now that crisis fixed. Uh. Not drag it. You have eight hours and zero minutes of remaining drive time. Okay. Uh, let's see. Ninety nine miles per hour. RPM. There we go. <coughs> uh. 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 I got this thing it's like it, it, it's like a little it, it's like a pretty strong clamp and like there's a little slide that the GoPro mount fixes to right there like it, it's got mine's not attached to the slide right now of course but uh it, the slide attaches to that that's how my uh suction cup works so uh let me know if y'all wanted like try the POV of like that or like I don't know but yeah, it's going to be clipped to the sun visor. It'll be a little bit better than the actual... Uh, <clears throat> it'll be a little bit better than mounting it straight to the windshield because it'll be a little bit further back, but also... Uh, I don't know if they can't... It should support the camera's weight. I don't know why I'm tripping. Uh, uh, come on. Come on, pick up Chuck. Come on, come on. Let's go. Ugh. Ugh. God, that's annoying. Ugh. Yay, school bus. Please don't get on the interstate. Please, just don't get on the interstate. On the interstate. The turn signal would be nice or no straight. Okay. Oh, you slowed down as beyond me. Hi, army people. Uh, maybe I should put on the turn signal uh, instead of criticizing the school bus for not using one. That would work. Uh, Chattanooga. Last time I went down to Chattanooga, I had to go through the waterfront district, and it was, uh, it wasn't great. It was not fun. But let's just say every time you kind of try to make one of those turns downtown, they have it nice, narrow little streets, and of course, you're not going to drive up on the sidewalk, so you got to be real careful of other trucks because they're going to whip you with the trailer, but, uh, yeah, that's, that, that's, that's the waterfront area. Still not at 70. Here we go. Now we're at 70. But, uh, and normally I have music playing something, uh, a little bit of something, something. We'll turn up the CB and just enjoy the drive for now. I mean, but of course, we're not going to play music on the stream because, of course, we're not going to play the little, oh, oh I'm going to get copyright strikes. Oh, my God. 
Yeah, uh, I... That's the number one thing I hate about all of the content creation and crap. Like, yeah, I understand at the same time, but at the same... It's... Bro, people listen to this stuff in their everyday life, and it's like... Come on, dude, it's just... Nobody wants to, like, sit there and have to, like, be awkward with the whole thing, and it's... Oh, because you can't play music, yeah, uh... Well, most, most people, most normal people, I think, would play music in the car. Most normal people, I don't know, don't get me wrong, there's, there's a few people who sit there in silence the whole time. Or, uh... crazy because my my wireless uh, connection is literally right there and it's just so why is this why is the quality so it's just the, the hot spot is so worthless like I can't do anything with it the only thing it's good for is uploading videos and ultimately you can't you can't do anything like, you can't play games on it, you, like, it's so slow. Like, there we go, stream health is going back up again. But, uh, hopefully we don't run into any, uh, major dead spots, like, over by, uh, Birmingham. Birmingham has a few dead spots, uh, prior to getting there. Uh, Hattiesburg, over in Mississippi, there's quite a few dead areas. But as far as I'm aware, uh, not too many dead areas. I mean, I'm on 59 right now, so we should be good. Uh, stream health went back up. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not. E I I'm not even ever gonna try to stream in 1080p. No, that's a that's a big negative. I, I, I if I tried to stream in 1080p, I would just m my phone would just like. My hotspot and my phone would just gag. Like they, they wouldn't even they, they wouldn't even try. They, they would just dead. Dead trailer in your lane. better I hope oh my god it's tricky I came back. No. 
so much extra that goes into like dealing with the camera because like if it slips or something and, and uh, then it's, it's crooked then the whole thing is skewed and uh, it's just uh, it's, it, it's kind of a pain but at the same time it's like yeah I love doing it it's still so annoying let's fly get out of my truck It's like mostly long distances of driving. That's pretty much what I like. You end up going, getting a nice long mile run. <clears throat> you pick up, you don't deliver for a few days, you end up going all the way through. And then you try to get the next pickup and do the same thing. subscribers commented on one of the videos and he's like yeah I'm starting orientation Monday and I'm like uh well so is my old co-driver and he's going to be coming over here so one of my subscribers and one of my co-drivers are doing orientation on Monday so that's <laughs> that's going to be interesting Yeah, not something you'd necessarily expect. My, my co-driver's real big on making money, so I mean, I don't know, like, I know he wants a good company. Oh, God. I know he wants a good company, but I don't know how he's going to feel about the money. It's, <coughs> the 
because he's taking you know, cuz uh, Andre he's he, he's tired of getting dicked around <coughs> he went with me CRST he was with me uh, when I went to Martin and now he's coming over to buying them it's like Martin was good money but man he got so tired of them taking him around it's what happened with me with Martin was like they do like ignorant crap like ring my phone once and then hang up and then they're like oh why would you never answer the phone I'm like ma'am I, I I don't know about you but I'd like to see you ring uh, like let the phone ring once and tell me you have enough time to not only see who it is but also answer it like I, I barely had time to glance over they just won't let it ring once hung up that's all they did and then they're like oh yeah you never would answer the phone and you, you just and then they'd be like oh yeah you're late on loads and I'm like you realize, like, some, some of the loads Martin would give me were like, they're like, oh, yeah, you were late picking up. I'm like, when you assigned it to me, it was like five hours past pickup time, and I still had to drive 500 miles to go get it. Like, did you really think I would have it? No. <clears throat> but, yeah, Martin sucked. Like, if the owner, because I met, was it uh, Roger Martin? Yeah. I, I'm pretty sure because <clears throat> I met him like I he went to the uh, Tucker terminal in Georgia one time and I met him and I'm like I, I, I sat there and talked to him he's like he's a decent dude like if he knew half the crap that was going on in his company he would literally lose his mind like seriously because honestly anymore like once you get to the point you're a mega carrier the, the owner ultimately ends up having no say and the little safety people and the operations people all decide they want to become the kings of the company and like try to run everything and act like uh, uh, oh what we say goes and it's like ends up being when it's these big companies all the safety managers the operation managers and everything become like all the big heads of the companies and try to act like that they're the ones that make the rules like no nah, you're not the owner of the company no they'd like to think they are but it is truthfully when it comes down to trucking like Bynum doesn't Bynum doesn't call me. Like, I, I could probably go, like... Like, I, I've, I've had times where I've gone, like, an entire month without talking to anyone at Bynum. Like, literally, the, the, the only thing, the only communication between me and Bynum is this quote. <laughs> Like for one, it was like three and a half weeks before somebody finally called me. I'm like, oh my god, people. <laughs> no, but seriously, that's like a good thing, yo. Because like, it, it, when you have, when you have like, constantly like, micromanaging crappy people at your throat the whole time, like, that's not trucking. That's like. That, that's moving their freight while you're on a leash so like when it comes down to le like buying them treats you like normal there's there ain't a camera that's a front facing camera there ain't no driver facing crap so like there, there's no driver facing crap there's no the only thing is if I slam the brakes hard if I slam the brakes hard or tilt the truck too much <laughs> they get a notification uh, Ultimately, there's time. Uh, most of the time, when I slam the brakes, it's like it's. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna lie to you. Most of the times, when I slam the brakes, it's it, it's red lights because y'all knows how y'all know how some of these city lights are. Like it, you see, uh, like that's a quick uh, yellow. For me, that quick yellow light is like, uh, I gotta slam the brakes or I'm driving through. You gotta make that split second decision either you either gotta slock the brakes or you gotta drive through it because 
there's because there's, there's, there's no in between like these 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 traffic lights in cities are not made for tr with trucks in mind in any way uh, we are heading to Oxford PA for a uh, tasty cake it, it, it's it's flowers baking company but on the on the Qualcomm it said and everything it says tasty cake but it's actually Florida natural uh, wait no don't put them I don't know where my head is uh, it's actually Wonder Bread and nature's own so but yeah it's one it's really one it says tasty cake it's really flowers baking company but it's it, it, the, the two big silos I'm pumping into are uh, oh yeah boom didn't look that bad uh, but yeah it's I pump into uh, it's yeast for nature's own and wonder bread it, it, it's cool. there's another pump man yeah, I'll need to put up a sign there too <laughs> uh. Yeah, the dock's not too bad you end up going in there uh first time i went there we had a hr yule driver and uh he's, he's got like a 389 and he ends up breaking down or something like that his like pump won't work and so they kick him out of like okay you figure that out so he ends up having to get his truck towed because <laughs> something else is wrong with it too so like he has to get towed and he gets out of there so hr yule like has another driver bring him a a bicycle see was somebody riding a unicycle down the interstate I kid you not, there was a man riding in a unicycle down the interstate. This was in California, mind you, so, uh, that's, uh, well, maybe it's not that awkward for California standards, but, uh, somebody physically get kicked out of their car like some dude just pulls over starts yelling at this girl and flipping her off out the window as she as he dumps her off and, and all kinds of stuff and then like does a burnout and like skids rocks into her I'm like bro like you people are heartless here yo uh, I've also seen the uh, there was a there was a convoy and it was like anti-China and it was like I think it was like a five or ten mile long convoy and it was just a bunch of trucks cars and everything against China oh, the Chinese government it's like bro and then they have trucks at the front and back they have like a box truck at the front and at the back and they're like blocking traffic and like making everybody sit there and like stare at everything so it's like bro, everybody so I called, what was it, Georgia? Yeah, it was Georgia uh, Highway Patrol. And it was getting ready to go into Florida. And we called them and they're like, Sir, we know about this. We've received 100 calls from this already. <laughs> you all really gotten 100 calls? I think we're at about 130 now. <laughs> oh, God. It just makes you think, like, oh, God, how long has this been going on? So, what happened with them, I have no idea, but they were blocking traffic, and I was like, man, I ain't got time for this. Ow.
construction zones. God, I hate construction zones. The whole country is under construction, I swear. All the time, just, to, just all day, every day, yeah, just all over the place. Man, there, there, there's days I'll drive through 10 construction zones, 15, it's like, oh, excuse me. But yeah, some of it's unreal, man. It's just like, why are there so many? And, and then some of these areas of this construction, like you'll go through an area they just paved or fixed or something like that. And it's like, bro, like y'all didn't fix anything. Y'all made this worse. Like, and, and then the construction zones get left here for so long. And some of them are all screwed up. It's like they destroy the road worse than it was during the whole construction setup. And then next thing you know it's sitting there for years and they gotta they, you know they gotta they, they gotta make a career out of the uh they gotta make a career out of paving a road uh you know you gotta make that money right uh that's it man that's that, that's the whole career that's the one job they signed up for their whole career so yeah you got you got those you got those people and then uh then it comes down to the whole fact of are they going to do it right? And then half the time you end up with some screwy roads. They didn't do it right. And then and then some of these new roads, you get these, you know, like, you'll get these weird bumps in the road. And it's, like, really, like, it, it feels like you're riding a horse and it's, like, all bumpy and screwed up. Somebody told me that they're doing that on purpose. And what their whole per like, I don't know if it's legitimate or not. But somebody told me that they're doing it on purpose to deter texting and driving. I'm like, so y'all are going to make an extremely dangerous roadway to deter texting and driving. So that tells me if they're doing that to deter texting and driving, they're just outright trying to kill somebody who's sitting there on texting and driving on the phone. They just want them to crash. Like, bro, what are y'all doing? Is this really your, your only option to deter this? Like, no know because when it comes down to trucks hitting those really crappy made roadways it makes it really hard to control the truck so you're not just if they are doing it to deter texting and driving you're making it next to impossible for a truck to drive through it with any like speed and then the narrow lanes like oh my god louisville atlanta stuff uh Lexington, oh my God, like, please, please widen your roads. Just please widen the lane a little bit. I, I want to be able to, like, accidentally, like, move an inch without entering the next lane. Just why? I hate narrow, narrow roadways and poorly constructed roadways. That's... y'all saw the tanker uh me stick the camera on the tanker dome for the stream earlier i mean it's kind of boring because there <laughs> wasn't able to talk or anything it was just like on top of the tanker dome i mean it's unique like i'm the only one who's ever like stuck anything up on top of the tanker dome before like i i, I i've searched youtube and i haven't found another similar video to that so I mean, I think I, I think I safely own the whole tanker dome cam.
other side. about the other truck is I don't have that little air hose to like clean like air clean out the dirt so like there's dirt my, my pedal head there's sand by the foot pedal like I, I, I'm like making up I'm making like a little like you know like a little desert in here like a little beach you know I just add like a little water feature in here just and yeah, I have like a little beach over by the foot down by the foot pedals on the weight it has to be like within the proper weight under that 20 over the 26,001 pounds then yes it is classic I got a friend who does concrete but he's got like one of those big dump trailers and like uh, he's got a day cab and one of those big dump trailers so and but when said he does concrete so it's like well concrete specifics like it, it's concrete but it's not like mixing not like one of those mixing like cement trucks you see going down the road no not like that but it is concrete Driving a truck is like, yeah, the experience can kind of carry over because it because it is commercial vehicle driving. So I mean, I mean, I I've seen people like, I've seen people go from being like a school bus driver to driving a tractor trailer. Like, they'll like take a few months, they'll take like a few weeks off, or something. they'll take a few reason. People grow like seasonal something like agriculture. You know what I mean? And do loads for companies like that and then they'll like for their off season they'll they, they drive they drive like the school bus or something like that or they are like during the winter or something like that or they they're bus driver substitute you know things like that <laughs> other guy i knew he was a limo driver on the side uh For the most part, what they're looking for, though, is, like, people who are driving at least, like, those straight trucks, you know, like, the dual, uh, the tandem axle, back, like, the straight truck, uh, anything class B, dump trucks, uh, smaller, uh, the smaller semis, and, uh, hot shot, like, to an extent, hot shots, and, uh, I mean, it's not class A experience, but it is still trucking experience, so I mean. One thing that they really try to look for is over the road experience. That's like one of their real things that they try to like be real strict on is it's. Minor truck. No, no, not like those. Oh, look. 
from the mining trucks. But, uh, I mean, if it's like, if, if it's a tractor trailer, yes. If it's like one of those big excavator type kind of truck, no. Completely different. One's considered, uh, one, one's considered truck driving. The other one's considered heavy equipment operation. <laughs> so yeah, they're like, they're, they're drastically different. Yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty different. Okay, yeah, we're not staying behind you. I was trying to be nice because we're going up a hill, but no. No, I'm not staying behind us. for these vehicles because it, it, it it's just not strong enough it, it can't pull the weight now like for like the box trucks and stuff like that those are by all means those are those are automatics but these are automated manuals the automated manual was like the precursor to like y'all y'all remember the dual clutch transmissions uh, like y'all know the dual clutch transmissions that are in cars nowadays like that's that automated manual was the precursor to the dual clutch so like we're like as far as we're concerned we need like the, all of these trucks are manual by all means but it's just one you drive with the stick the other one is like a computer is mounted to it and it, it does all the shit deep. but so yeah it's it, it's an automatic but it's not really an automatic kind of where we're at with that uh, but anyway Packer like these are 12 speed and Packer has now made an 18 speed automated manual so yeah get ready to uh, start seeing some 18 speed automated manuals out there because that, that, supposedly they're going to be coming out like this next this coming up year so i mean they're going to be getting put in some of these trucks if you slow down for this truck again uh, this next truck i swear now all the super truckers are sitting there saying oh yeah uh, you don't need no radar <laughs> drive the truck you use your rush shot i'm like bro i can tell you right now this truck in front of me is going exactly 65 miles an hour so yeah um it, it gives me a nice concept of uh how soon i should pass him and like if he starts slowing down or lets his foot off the pedal i'm gonna be able to the radar is gonna detect it moved up to 66 But yeah, seriously, uh, like, I, I would never want to drive a truck without a radar. This The radar is such a cool tool. It, it's just like... <coughs> oh, excuse me. But 
yeah, the, the radar is such a fun tool. Like, use technology to your advantage. Don't be some old school boomer that like. Well, okay, okay. Let's let's be for example. Don't be like my dad. Like, I'll never own a cell phone. <laughs> I'm paying for him a cell phone right now, though, ain't I? It's like, well, okay, it, that, that's not the point, though. But but the whole thing is, like, don't end up being one of those old people that's, like, so against the new technology and crap. And it's like, I, I had to teach my dad how to, like, Google search because, like, he would come up. So he'd be, like, I, I handed him the phone and he, like, tried to figure it out and everything. And he's like... Well, how do you how do you Google search? I'm like, bro, what are you looking for? I'm looking for this. I'm like, uh, well, you type that in and you press enter. Really? Yeah, you 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 literally type what you're looking for when you press enter, and the results pop up. <laughs> it's like <laughs> trying to be mean, dude. But I'm like. searching for I don't know they type exactly that in it's like and then uh, it's like some of, some of the things can't come to him and like he, he, he struggles navigating he hates the whole all the different passwords and like everything you gotta have for everything well why do I gotta have an account for this <laughs> he, he's like oh it's data mining me and it's like uh yeah pretty much everything does welcome to the modern technological age like that they're like it's crappy companies taking all your information <laughs> uh they know that's all that's all it is and he's like i don't like that shit at all <laughs> but yeah uh, that that's dad slowly figuring out what we deal with every day and he's like he, he doesn't actually have to deal with it because he as far as everything's concerned he you know he, he, he's not working anymore so like he doesn't have to deal with all the crap we have to <clears throat> the craziest piece of tech my dad is the, the, the two crazy my dad works with on a daily basis are a cell phone and a, and a PlayStation 5. So, uh, yeah, that's, that, that's that's pretty much like what he deals with on a daily basis. Meanwhile, I look for like, pirated movies and stuff like that. It's like, how do you get all those? There's so many. Well, how do you I'm like, well, you probably would be better off watching them on PC because I you, you don't watching it. You're not watching it. Uh. <laughs> I didn't like smart TV. My dad doesn't either. <clears throat> like you, you can tell he gets it at the same time. You know he's struggling with it. Like, but m likes the whole YouTube aspect of everything, and it's like. He, he, he likes having YouTube accessible, but <clears throat> I'm like, he's like, well, don't you gotta use YouTube TV for everything? He, he like, he, he thinks like, like there's so much you can do on YouTube, and it's just crazy. It's like there, there's so many things you can watch, and like the only thing he uses it for is. The only thing Dad uses YouTube for is like music. And I'm like, dude, uh, just use the freaking, just use like YouTube. Watch, watch, watch some videos. Like, watch some actual videos. Like, they're, uh, it's like, well, I don't know what to watch. I'm like, dude, literally anything you could ever think of, you might want to watch on YouTube. There's probably something for it. Do you want to watch gaming videos? There's probably they're probably there. I know there's some occasionally free live sports. Yeah, stay in your lane, car. You didn't want to come over, so now you're gonna to try to cut in front of me. No, no, we're not playing that. And I didn't get back over because I knew he was eventually gonna to try to hit the brakes, so I just didn't know. 
level of clownery I was going to experience. Yay, military equipment. It would be nice to haul some military loads. <clears throat> Put a tank on top of a flatbed or something like that. Like one of those oversized loads. <clears throat> Maybe haul some like military equipment. But at the same time, all of that's a pain in the ass because it's all Department of Defense. They want every time you go into these places, they tell me they search your truck, they tear, they they take everything out of your truck, they go through everything, and it's like, bro, that shit gets old. That gets so old. Okay, please. Like I, I, I know you. My, uh, as far as technology goes, my, my, my dad still struggles, like, how to find some, uh, he, he still struggles on how to, uh, accept invites on Call of Duty, like, for example, so, like, that's, that's kind of where we're at, like, he's got basic texting down, he doesn't, like, he hates the separate account crap, he hates... I, I had to walk I had to walk him through how to like get the YouTube premium on and everything and get it for into the account and he's like how do I hook it to the TV I'm like will you please listen but yeah it's it's a struggle <laughs> he's slowly getting it I, I was gonna get him a computer like but I, I don't know how long that's gonna take ultimately this fly get out of my truck. This is how we handle rodents in the truck. Solid seven. Meanwhile, here we go, slowing down. <clears throat> so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get. Oh my God! Custom stickers made for my truck with the channel name on them and on top because. I was gonna do the lettering, and then I sat there and I looked at, with the lettering, and oh my god, that's expensive. I mean, like thirty-eight dollars to get the lettering on each side of my truck. Like, if I bought the letters at like Loves or something like that, thirty-eight dollars to get the lettering, and I'm like, oh my god, I don't want to. Like, yeah, I have stickers on my truck, but I don't want to pay no thirty-eight dollars just to like put the. Chip like, yeah, it could earn me extra money. Like, oh my god, with the bugs. But yeah, it could earn me extra money and everything because, yeah, it's going to be recognition and everything. I just put it on, like, the side of the sleeper or something like that, you know. Oh my god. Yay, Alabama roads. Ooh. But, yeah, it's... <laughs> Like, this is part of why I want donations and, and, and to get monetized. Because, like, I'm, like, halfway there on the monetization. Oh, my God. Roads, hello. Why, do the roads suck? But, yeah, it's... Because, like... I get donations, I get monetized, I can do things like put the stickers on my truck, put the channel name on there, get 
like basic merch made. All I, I'm gonna have a hat made too. Oh God, what are you doing? Uh, man, you're driving 53 miles an hour. Come on, what are you doing? What are you doing, dude? Got the fly on my window again. I'm gonna swat you. What is food grade tanker mafia? I don't know what that is. You don't really know what like social media is gonna be good because I mean like YouTube's just like a base no matter what. TikTok is going through all the bands and everything, and it's like it's uh, it's like not even. And then people like uh, Iron Mike are like, yeah, I get banned off of this thing all the time, and it's like everybody's like, yeah, we get banned all the time. I'm like, well, why would you waste your time with social media if you just keep getting banned off of it for like the most basic of things? And it's like, man, I, I ain't even, I ain't even messing with that. So, uh, Tumblr is, we, we all know Tumblr is a not, is not safe for work. Snapchat and Instagram, the, the only, the, the only things you're looking at there are, 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 are gaming NSFW or an occasional artist or music plug sort of rapper snapchat and instagram are so dead like, like it, it, it's a teen thing like so so few people use it anymore so snapchat and instagram are a no i are like i i looked at instagram for a little while and like i'm like nah this is this is definitely a no there's there's no growth on this so I just deleted the account. And what else is there? Mastodon's a fad. Truth could take off, but it's not big enough yet to like bother putting a lot of time into. Uh, I can't even think of some of the other ones. There's like three other ones out there that are like brand new, and I'm like, no, nah, they're they're just.
food grade thing. And then LinkedIn, oh my God. LinkedIn, like you would think you would use LinkedIn for like professional. <laughs> LinkedIn is for like employ, the, the only thing LinkedIn is for anymore are employers, employers, crypto bros and scammers. Like, I get like insurance trying to get in out. No, 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 just no. Bad, bad. Go find somebody else. Ugh. And, and <laughs> the LinkedIn recommendations is like so, sometimes you'll get like recommendations or offers from like some of these companies and they just like spam it like oh it says like oh you have experience as class a truck driver you may be good for uh an uh, uh, insurance market analyst I'm like, excuse me no linkedin is like linkedin is a clown fest and it's like it's lost all validity and then half of the crap the quote experts like post articles about on LinkedIn are like so like over the top and wrong. It's like it, it, it's I don't know. It's LinkedIn is so bad. LinkedIn is the worst. Like I, I was I would occasionally post and it's just like if you're not one of like the super professionalism type kind of people it's like <laughs> it's not for you it's not for you you have to be like super politically correct and it's like i, I <laughs> but yeah like twi twitter is like twitter and discord are like two of the only places that are left and it's like discord is like more of a private social oh god these roads yeah discord is more of a private sort of social and Twitter is decent for posting, but Facebook is Facebook is okay, but it's just like it fell off. Like, plus you're like using real names. Uh, like everybody knows the whole username era is like the big thing now, and it's like so people using their real name on their account is like they're like they're, they're like uh no. So yeah, there's a lot, there's a certain percentage of people that automatically get taken out of, if I posted to Facebook all the time, like, yeah, I post like for family and friends occasionally, like I'll post a few pictures or a video here and there, but, ugh. I hate this road, come on, like fix this, I mean, I know that's what they were doing back there, but come on, it, 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 for is that tonight it'll rain and wash some of the gunk off my truck and get rid of it when the morning is gone. Oh, oh. God, I hate this. I feel like I'm riding a horse. I just realized I didn't get another bag. <laughs> I have a secret trick though. What you do. I reach back here. You grab that. You take this. Uh, I can't see it. I'm going to say it's the Coke. Definitely the Coke. Yep. Red Cat Coke. That's the Coke. Oh. You can't hear me, of course, I'm going to have a fucking Coke bottle in my mouth. So you, so you put the bag on the seat. Hook 
it around there. And you fumble around until you find. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. Now, see, that's the good thing. <clears throat> Familiarity while driving means you. Oh my God, this is so horrible. Oh my God. Here we go again. Oh. Welcome to the United States of America, but no, they're not going to spend money on this. They're going to spend money on stupid crap. Hey, government. Ugh. Let's let's donate money to other countries and other crappy causes and waste all kinds of money instead of actually fixing some of the base issues. Yay. Construction again should be fun. Cool. Come to Georgia. Welcome to Georgia. Just keep me out of Atlanta. I hate that place. I swear to you, Atlanta, Atlanta is like the worst place in the country. Like, I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I don't, I don't like Georgia. I, Georgia, Tennessee, Oregon's iffy. Seattle sucks. California sucks, other than to get in and out because I get a lot of long mile runs on California. So I'm I'm not gonna complain it's not that bad but California does still suck uh, and the entirety of the Northeast like I don't I'm not even keen on Pennsylvania like in Pennsylvania it's like nah, y'all I like driving across the big massive bulk of the center of the US Louisiana no keep me out of Louisiana to New Orleans ghetto the worst scenario in society could be New Orleans right now How do you? Where's the turn lane? Like, what's the dedicated turn lane for this? And like, how, and then I found out you have to come from the one specific. If you don't come from straight across, you you can't actually. You're not allowed to turn into there. So, if you don't come from straight across on the intersection, you can't make that turn. If you you, you can't, you're not allowed to make a right into it. You're not. It has to be straight. So there's only one way to get in that area. I'm like, uh, -uh. so it took me a while. But yeah, I hate New Orleans. Uh, reduced speed ahead. Here we go again. Yay, construction.
this pilot, but down to 55 I'm, I'm, I'm dying right now I'm slow I'm slowly dying inside from stuff like this <clears throat> this is escort a Mercedes Escorts, I question the escorts sometimes because <clears throat> sometimes they're like the cheapest, junkiest car, like a like a 1990s Lincoln Town Car kind of deal, and it's like, bro, get something modern that's fuel efficient, and you th then you're like, oh yeah, I see something modern, and it, then, then like, oh hey, look, cool, it's a Camaro, it's a it's a Z28 Camaro. Why are you using a all it's got to do is keep up with the be over the top it's all either old junky cars modern high-end top-of-the-line muscle cars or dually pickup truck second but it was there see it live like I, I can see like eight second delay I don't know uh, based off of the comments I'm thinking it might be like two three minute delay for y'all custom stickers for like the truck and everything and like for the channel and like maybe like a jacket and a hat but just to put the lettering for pony power trucking on each side is $38 and then tax so it's like oh my god it, it, it's ridiculous like bro it's so expensive Yeah, that's like that's, that's like why I do the donations and everything and put my cash up and everything and it's like yeah it's like 
And, and then once I get monetized, then the ad revenue and everything comes in and it's like, it'll start growing. It, it's just, it's just a matter to get there. And then the grind is, the grind is the big part. Like most of my followers currently, like I got over Christmas and it's like, it hasn't grown, but like 120 followers since Christmas. So it's like, cause I like got like, almost a thousand followers on Christmas and it's uh, like or subscribers and it's like wow it's just crazy bro a thousand and it's like <laughs> and it's and then it just died off it's like it's it, it's like it it's like it 1523 right now I think was the last time I checked I was playing with AI the other day. Okay, so I'm sitting here thinking, like, there's people that I think can follow you, but you can't see who they are or something. Because, like, because I was playing with AI and trying to look at the analytics of the channel, and it says I have 1,000, like, 1,950 followers, but as far as what is displayed on my channel is only 1,520. So it's like, how are, like, 400 followers just casually not displayed? So there's, like, subscribe to somebody on you. Either there's, there's a bunch. There's a way to hide that you subscribe to somebody on YouTube that even they can't see. Are you gonna pass me or you would? or something like that like I, I would probably just have like I, I don't know like some like a Ford is like some, something basic like maybe an SUV yeah but like still something small like an Explorer like a Nissan Pathfinder like like maybe even a hatchback or something like that might be worth it but doing like 75 a minute ago now you want to slow down some sort of fleet discount, I guess. I, I, I choice. Better 
drive better uh, better comfort for Mercedes than because I get because I mean they, they are going to be driving long distance so I guess better be a Mercedes than uh, I guess something that's not comfortable. Structure looks it, now that's steel. That's gotta be steel. 